This is the Sony ZV-1, and it is without question the best camera for beginners here on YouTube. Stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G, and to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing. And to really jumpstart your channel, check out my free 40-minute YouTube masterclass. Link is in the description. Links to the Sony ZV-1 and other products mentioned in this video in the description below. Now to be fair, that's the Sony RX100 Mark V. But it's interesting, the new Sony ZV-1 is based on that same technology, and that means you get so much value, you get so much bang for your buck. Now I've used this camera. I'm filming right now on the Sony ZV-1, and it's absolutely incredible. It does time-lapse, low-light photography. It allows you to shoot in burst mode, and you can capture incredible super slow motion footage just like this. Now, fact of the matter is when you're ready to spend your money, you've got a lot of options, and that's why I'm really glad you're here. I wanna walk you through why the Sony ZV-1 is such a great selection. Now, let's talk about this. That's the Canon M50. This is an incredible camera, another really good value, and you may wanna consider this as well. $500 gets you in the game with a fantastic interchangeable lens system. Now, why would you want an interchangeable lens system? Because it just gives you more options for getting started. But, you know, this video is for beginners. And here's what I found to be so very powerful about the ZV-1. This is the RX100, and like the ZV-1, everything I need is right here. It's got ND filters, it's got a wide angled lens, it's got a super low aperture or f-stop. We'll talk more about why all of these things are really important as we move forward. And that means I buy one thing and I've got everything I need to take incredible looking video. Now you're gonna wanna shoot great looking videos and one of the things to consider is when it comes to great looking videos, stabilized footage is important. Now right now I'm shooting on a tripod. If you're gonna shoot all your videos on a tripod, this is really not an issue. However, if you wanna get outside, if you wanna shoot handheld, if you want a cool buttery kind of B-roll clip like you're looking at right now, well then having a camera that stabilizes the footage is really helpful. Oftentimes when we talk about digital stabilization, you'll see kind of like a, a jello-y or warping kind of look to the video and you really don't want that. I haven't had any issues at all with the ZV-1. Awesome. Now, another thing to talk about is value. What exactly do you get for your money? Why does it make more sense to spend $800 with the ZV-1 rather than picking up the M50, the Canon M50 for 500? Well, once again, everything is built in to the camera you buy. Again, this is the RX100, it's a prop. Now, back to the M50, interchangeable lens system, which is awesome and gives you more flexibility, at a cost. In other words, you gotta buy more lenses to get more functionality. For example, low light performance. When you buy an M50, the kit lens is gonna have an aperture or f-stop of 3.5. Now the ZV-1, however, comes with a lens that has better low light performance based on the f-stop. The f-stop goes all the way down to f1.8. Canon kit lens, f3.5. Sony ZV-1, f1.8. 2.5, sorry for not looking at the lens. We're at 2.8. 2 We're at 3.2. And that is the aperture at f3.5. 
This is what you get when you buy a Canon M50 or really any kind of camera with a kit lens. Just like the Sony a6400, which you can't see because it's too dark. Now, we can certainly increase the ISO. Let's do that now. But when we do that, we introduce noise into the shot. So can you really tell the difference? Can you tell that this footage is a bit grainier because the ISO is at 500? Let's go back to the original settings that I'm shooting with the ZV-1. Again, much better in low light conditions. Now, this is that 6400 I just mentioned. I actually upgraded, spent $400 on the lens, which brings the cost of this particular camera to around $1,300, $1,400. The ZV-1 costs $800. Amazing. Now I want to address one of the biggest objections with this particular camera and that's the fact that Sony marketed this as a vlogging camera. Typically vloggers, including myself, we like really wide lenses. A 16 millimeter equivalent on a full frame is ideal without question. Maybe 18 millimeters, 20 would be great. And the ZV-1 comes in at 24 millimeters. And this is where the objections have occurred. So many people have said the, the lens, the camera simply is not wide enough. And I gotta be honest, for me personally, when I go outdoors to shoot videos, I primarily shoot on a tripod. And what I've done is really get up, a get up, I've gotten, get up! <laughs> I've gotten set up with a, a kit, including the right kind of microphone so I can get a little away from the camera. And I do that by using the Rode Wireless Go. It's wireless and that allows me to have that distance. Right now, you can see, I, I really like the way this looks. I just, I'm a little bit further away. I am about a, a, a hand's length away from the lens and this is the shot you get. I really don't think the criticisms that I'm seeing from so many channel reviews are justified, especially for someone that is a beginner. Now, a couple more things I want to address. The Canon shoots 4K, but it's cropped at about 1.4 times. In other words, you get kind of this shot like this and then it actually comes in like this. It's cropped in, meaning that you really don't have the wide shot when you're shooting in 4K. And furthermore, it's not usable because the autofocus goes away. You don't have dual pixel autofocus, which is really a big deal. If you're a YouTuber, you're gonna be shooting a lot of content alone or with someone that doesn't have a lot of camera proficiencies, you wanna have really good autofocus. The Sony ZV-1 has top class, top of the line autofocus that beats this hands down. And furthermore, it does it really well in 4K. And furthermore, furthermore, the 4K, it also has a crop, but it's a one point, like one, crop. It's just, it's like a 10% crop. It's not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. And here's yet another thing. The color science of the Sony is incredible. It's really, really good. These colors that you're looking at are straight out of the camera. Now, yes, I've done a little slight color correction in post when I'm editing, but typically speaking, you can get amazing looking colors straight out of the camera. That means you don't have to worry about picture profiles, creative styles. You don't have to do too much. You just turn on the camera and you get an amazing looking image. Sold. Now do this for tips, tactics, and strategies for how to get the most views to the videos you're gonna be publishing. Check out one of the videos on the screen now. Do that, it'll help you drive more views. It'll help you grow your channel even better. You're gonna feed a poodle. Now here's what's up. I got two poodles and they're hungry. You dig?